Russia's Su-57 Felon Next Generation Fighter Jet is now bionic. Russia's Next Generation Su-57 Felon Fighter Jet is getting upgraded landing gear in a bid to reduce cost and weight. The Su-57 Felon's new landing gear will reportedly be made of aluminum and features an advanced computer-designed architecture, according to the United Aircraft Corporation. The enhanced equipment could be a sign that the long-delayed Su-57 is being pushed toward more combat service as well as export. The aircraft manufacturer, Russia's Sukhoi Design Bureau, claims the felon's new landing gear slashes one quarter of the weight over traditional designs thanks to its bionic design, a term that refers to organic seeming components. The new design also reduces the materials needed to produce the part. Sukhoi is touting the component as a fully domestic design. Russia has been suffering from a shortage of high-tech components since Western sanctions were imposed last year, following the invasion of Ukraine. The Su-57 is a twin-engine stealth multi-role fighter designed in the 1970s. Development was halted due to the fall of the Soviet Union, but an upgraded version has slowly started to make its way into Russian service. In 2020, Russia's defense ministry said that the felon had entered its fleet with the delivery of the first production aircraft to an aviation regiment of the Southern Military District. The ministry plans to have an entire Su-57 regiment of 24 aircraft ready by 2025. The Su-57 airframe uses composite materials such as polymer, fiberglass, and aluminum load-bearing honeycomb fillers. The materials enable low radar, infrared signatures, and fuel efficiency for continued supersonic cruise flight. The Su-57's fuselage is covered with a special radio-absorbing coating. The Felon's avionics are also a step up from other fighters in Russian service with an advanced onboard computer. The avionics package includes active electronically scanned array, AESA, radar, and ELINT systems. The aircraft is armed with air-to-surface missiles, air-to-air -air missiles, and 30mm guns for close combat. But Russia may be holding back Su-57 from full combat duty in Ukraine. A British report claims that the felons operate only in Russian airspace due to fears that combat losses would hurt the aircraft's reputation and expose sensitive technology. The Su-57 is designed to have advanced stealth capabilities, super cruise ability, the ability to sustain supersonic flight without using afterburners, and enhanced maneuverability. It features advanced avionics, an active electronically scanned array, AESA, radar, and the capability to carry a variety of air-to-air -air and air-to-surface weapons. The aircraft is expected to have improved situational awareness and network-centric warfare capabilities. One of the key features of the Su-57 is its use of advanced technologies, such as composite materials, thrust-vectoring Saturn Isdali 30 engines, and integrated avionics. These technologies are aimed at enhancing the aircraft's performance, survivability, and combat capabilities. The development of the Su-57 has faced several challenges, including delays and funding issues. However, the Russian government has expressed its commitment to the project and its desire to field the Su-57 as a next-generation fighter for the Russian Aerospace Forces. The Su-57 Felon is designed to be a versatile multi-role fighter aircraft capable of carrying a variety of weapons for both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions, including air-to-air -air missiles, 
The Su-57 is expected to carry advanced beyond visual range air-to-air -air missiles, BVRAAM, such as the R-77 and its newer variants like the R-77M or K-77M, as well as the longer-range R-37M air-to-air missile. It may also be capable of employing short-range heat-seeking missiles like the R-73. The Su-57 can be equipped with a range of air-to-ground missiles for striking ground targets. These may include precision-guided munitions like the KH-38M or KH-58 USHKE anti-radiation missiles, KH-59 MK-2 cruise missiles, or the newer KH-35 UE anti-ship missiles, can also carry unguided rockets or area saturation attacks. The aircraft is also to have the capability to employ precision-guided bombs for accurate strikes against ground targets. Examples include the KAB series of guided bombs, such as the KAB-500KR or KAB-1500L, which are laser-guided bombs. The Su-57 Felon can also carry a variety of other air-to-ground weapons, including anti-ship missiles, anti-radar missiles, or anti-personnel cluster munitions. The specific weapons employed may depend on the mission requirements and operational considerations.